Hello everyone and welcome to our series on Dream Create. Um, it's all about creation, all about being our most magnificent creator. Um, and we're going to share some insights over the next few series of videos. We're going to offer some inspiration about creativity and creation. And we really want you to look at yourself and we look at ourselves and say, how can we become the best possible creator we can be? So that can affect the world beautifully and I think the inspiration we often get is from children. Um, often people come and say, what is creation? And I'm not creative, that's the artist or the musician. But no, it's in everybody. And so it's a beautiful story about a guy who was head of a photographic company many years ago, 1943, was on the beach and filming his beautiful daughter. And after taking so many photographs, he, um, his daughter came up and said, I would like to see the photograph, Dad. And he said, no, unfortunately, my darling, it's going to take a while. Um, yeah, it's going to go to a processing unit. And, but she said, I actually would like to see the photograph now. And that was so insistent that he went back to his team on the Monday um, and said to his technical team, well, this is the question my daughter asked. Why can't I see the photograph now? And so the wonderful group of um, engineers and technicians put, put their minds together and said, how can we actually do this? And they decided, okay, I think this child's got something on the go here. Let's think about this creation. We've never thought about it before. And so they eventually put up um, many, many hours of study and design. They came up with what is now, what was then known as the Polaroid camera. And, and just through that simple question of how, why can't I see this picture now, started a whole industry, entire industry on, 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 on film. Now we've gone to the cell phone camera, which is a video, but that was the start of instant photographic recognition. And it's just amazing how a simple question created an entire industry. And so there was another lovely story where a young lady came into my office, she was 11 years old, and asked me, looking at the pictures on my wall, she said, are you creating the future in here? And I said, yes, I am, but what is the future that you're imagining? How would you like to create the future and how would you like to see it? And she came back with multiple beautiful drawn pictures and showed me that her version of the future was quite, quite childlike, naive, but at the same time, very expansive. And in that process, she said and expressed these beautiful things about speaking to people across the world, traveling without planes, um, talking to animals, having everything free in the world, instantly manifesting everything else. And that's an amazing thing. So when we look around and say, do I need inspiration? Just go quietly into your imagination where children play all the day. They play in their minds, in their imagination and, and create something from that space. So we really implore everybody through the series, think about the simple concepts of creation, the simple concepts of imagination. Because where does that come from? The divine infinite all is inside of you. You will then find that you have limitless opportunity, limitless creativity, limitless infinite things that you can create, but all you have to do is apply your mind quietly to asking simple questions. How do I create this now? How do I make something now? How do I find myself in a space where I would like to create a better world for myself and for others? So, final message of this particular video is be your most magnificent creator. Be the best possible creative person you can be and watch the world change around you and create magic while you do that. Thank you very much.